Hey guys, welcome to my trailer. Today I'm going to be making a video showing you some of my favorite things to have on hand in my trailer. To get started, I'm going to show you what's back here in the body of my trailer with the horses. The first item I probably recommend is a nylon trailer tie. It's got a snap on this end and a hook on the other, and basically it's so you can secure the horse's head in the trailer. It just minimizes their chances of getting their head under the divider or getting themselves into any trouble while they're in here. Make sure it's nylon and not elastic because if it's an elastic and it snaps and hits them back, it can hit them in the eye and they'll lose an eye and that's pretty dangerous. The next must have in my trailer is a hay net filled with hay. It makes traveling a lot less stressful for the horses. They're meant to be grazing constantly and they need a source of forage. Um, and so hanging up a hay net makes it so that they can keep eating while you're moving, keeps them a little happier. And then, you know, as an added bonus, if you're going to a show or something, you have a hay bag that you can feed them out of for the entire weekend. My next trailering must have is going to be bedding on the trailer floor. Horses tend to pee and poop a lot when you put them on the trailer and that can make the ground a little slick for them, which as you can imagine is a little dangerous when the trailer is already in motion. So also going to be a little bit harder for you to clean up that mess when you get there. Make everyone's lives a little bit easier and safer. Throw some bedding on the ground of your trailer. For some final essentials, you're going to want a broom, a muckrake, and your muck tub to clean up any messes that come up along the way. So now we're gonna go through some of the stuff that I keep in my tack room that I think is pretty essential and helpful to keep in here. Starting with the number one most important item I keep in my trailer, my lunch line. Lunch line's kind of like bailing twine where I think there's a million uses for it, especially if you're creative. I find it's really helpful to load a horse that's having some difficulty. You can check out my video on trailer loading by yourself if you want more information on that. Um, it also will always work as a lead line if you're in a pinch. And if your horse gets off the trailer and is acting a little kooky, needs to blow off some steam, you've got your lunch line. Suffice it to say, I think it's useful to have one in your trailer, so make sure you leave it in there. The next item I like to keep in my trailer, that's super heavy, is extra jugs of water. Um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be this exact storage container, although I can put a link to the one that I use, um, but it's good to have storage containers in the trailer so that way if you're trailering out and either they don't have water available or it's not easily accessible, you always have some in your trailer. This is about five gallons and so in the winter I usually put about, um, Oh, it says 20 liters. Well, I feel like this is about five gallons. I don't know. Anyways, in the winter, I only keep about one of these in here, but if I'm trailering out in the summer and I know I'm going somewhere longer where I might want more, I'll put two or three of these in the trailer tack room. I also try to keep a bucket handy because it does you no know good to have water if the horse has nothing to drink out of. Another thing I like to keep on my trailer are these handy dandy little canvas chairs. There's nothing better than having an actual clean place to sit down and you're at a horse show or at a clinic. They fold up pretty small so they don't take up a lot of space and so I just tend to leave them in my tack room in my trailer and have them on hand in case I need them. They're definitely not necessary, like if your tack room is tight for space and you're not going to a lot of shows, like you'll find somewhere to sit, but if you have room for it, they've really saved my literal butt. Uh, a couple of times. Another thing I keep on my trailer in the tack room is a cooler, especially in the winter or in the fall. If you're going out and your horse is really hairy and you go somewhere and they get a little sweatier, you can throw the cooler on them on the way home to let them dry out faster and keep them from getting a chill in the trailer. The last thing I like to keep on my trailer, which is nice to have but definitely not necessary, is a fan and a battery pack. So I usually only have the fan on my trailer in the summers and I really only bring the battery pack to shows. Um, but if you've ever been stuck in traffic on a hot, hot day and your horse is just standing on the back of the hot trailer, it's really nice to have this. And you take your fan and you plug it in and you switch it to the AC power adapter. You turn it on. Ooh, whoops. Well, <laughs> And then you got a running fan on your stationary powerless trailer. Um, it's really not necessary, but gosh, it's nice to have. So if you've been trying to figure out what you should keep in your trailer, I hope this helps. And if I'm missing one of your key trailer essentials, drop a comment and let me know what it is. Thanks for watching.